No freak. <laughs> Dude, there it is. Heck yeah, found it. Hello YouTube, I crashed my drone, the DJI TV, in a cornfield. I was too scared to go look for it at night, so I went back the next day. I created a mission plan, executed the mission plan, and found my drone. I discovered that the front right landing gear was broken. Back at the shop, my detailed inspection reveals that the antenna connectors are still connected. However, the screws for the mounting arms, as we can see in this one, the heads have sheared off. So first thing I need to do is extract the shafts of the screws. So to do that, I'm gonna use these needle nose pliers, get a grip and unscrew these. So. There's one. All right, look at that. So I could throw those two things away. The FPV landing gear. Mounting screws and I only need one landing gear, so I guess I got a spare for when the other one breaks, right? <laughs> so in this box, it came with two landing gears, the antenna and a bag of screws. So I wanna make sure that did I choose correctly? Yep, this is the right one. So that'll go there. Now it becomes just a matter of attaching this to that. Attaching the antenna to the drone is simple. As you can see here, we have three wires coming out of the arm of the DJI drone. Looking at the antenna, one side has writing on it and the other side does not. The side without the writing on it contains the three pin port that you can see here. The side with the writing on it contains the port for the four pin wire. We also know that the antenna will mount with the writing going outboard like so. First, connect the shorter three pin wire to the three pin port, which is on the side with no writing. Step two, connect the four pin wire to the wire connector with the four pin port, which is on the side with the writing on it. Step three, Place the antenna on the mount. Before placing the antenna, peel the blue sticker backing from the placement sticky tape. This tape helps hold the antenna in place. So here is the sticker, and it will actually mount to this part here. Let's put this on this side here, and this will mount here like so. As you can see, the sticky tape attaches to this post here. Step four, attach the image transmission feeder wire to the antenna board using the metal connectors. Did you hear that click? It's in place. As you saw, using tweezers helped greatly, as well as this video to zoom in on the parts. The last step is to attach the landing gear, which is also a cover for the antenna. As you can see, the old one is broken. It does not have that white plastic covering for the LED light. Here is the new one, and which is what we'll attach. So it's sim as simple as just putting the cover back on, top like so, you'll hear a click. We'll now use the screws that came with the pack. I'm going to use the number 1.5 hex to screw it in. When I tighten it, I don't want to over tighten it and strip out the screw. I could feel when I feel it's just right. The screws did come with a little bit of Loctite already embedded on it, so that will help greatly. And there you go, done. Back up.